हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग शिक्षा सो माय नेम इज़ गौतम सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू मेक ए ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप फाइल अपलोड एडिटिंग एप्लीकेशन इन इलेक्ट्रॉन सो एज यू नो इलेक्ट्रॉन इज ए फ्रेमवर्क व्हिच कैन बिल्ड क्रॉस प्लेटफॉर्म डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एच टी एम एल सी एस एस एंड जावर स्क्रिप्ट सो दिस इज द एंड प्रोडक्ट एप्लीकेशन दैट वी विल बी बिल्डिंग इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप user interface and this is the text area and you can also edit files and save this on your local computer so let me just uh, drag drop any file here so this is a txt file that we will be editing and uploading so we can just drag drop the, the this file here so just wait let me again try so now you can see that it is successfully Uh, dropped here and this is the content inside it so if i open this file here you can see that this is the content inside it so now i can just edit this and change this to something like this this is some document and if i want to save this if i press the save button you can see that that dialog opens here and i can give another name to this file let's suppose hello2 and the extension will be txt because we are editing the txt files save it so now you can see that a new file is created this is some document so let's suppose i want to edit this file so now i can just drag drop this file so this is some document here first of all let me just delete this and drop this file so this is the overall application that we will be building uh, let's start the coding part here uh, for source code this is the whole source code of this application this is the blog that i have written so the link is there in the video description so just go to the video description and you can just read my blog and download the whole source code so let let me just start the tutorial here so go back to your code editor i am using visual studio code so create a electron application this is a directory structure here this is three files will be used index.html render render.js and main.js so let me just write the index.html file first the html part so head in the head we have a title tag let me give as uh, drag and drop text editing application in electron so after that uh, we will be needing the bootstrap css so you can just go to the sorry i can just copy paste it so i forgot here so now you can see that this is the bootstrap or css that you will need so you can just copy paste it from here so after the title just copy paste this so this is the bootstrap css so after that close the head tag so in the body section in the body we have having a div which has a class of container so container is a class in bootstrap and inside this we have a jumbotron class so inside this jumbotron we have a paragraph which has a class of alert alert info and also it has a id of Uh, drag file so inside this we will be dragging the file so it has a label of uh, drag your file here that's it after that we will be after this div we will be having the text area tag text area the name will not be used let me give it id to it so that we can target it in the uh, javascript text area txt area 
this is the id and let me just delete this calls and rows here and give a style attribute to it style let me have a width of uh, let's suppose 700 pixel and a height of uh, 350 pixel that's it and also we will be having a class of form control so this is a bootstrap class for the text area so after that we have we will be having a break tag so just write here break after that we will be having the button let me give a id to it of btn and it will be having the class of btn btn success so this will be in the green color so let me close the button tag and it will be having the label of save that's it so this completes the html part here now we just need to include the renderer script here which we will be writing the custom script file and close the html tag but before that we also will be needing jquery but jquery we will not be including by cdn i have actually uh, included it by installing by npm install save dev jquery so just uh, execute this command and it it will install the jquery package into your node package manager modules so just execute this query i have already downloaded jquery so i will not include it so that's it for guys this is all the index.html file that is required now i will be moving on to the main.js first of all i will be importing uh, some dependencies that is app comma browser window which will actually create the window for us so these things will be requiring electron so electron after that we will be importing the url package as well so this will be requiring url so url is a module in node as you know and also the path so this will be requiring the path Uh, after that we will be declaring a variable of win win stands for window and uh, we will be making a custom function of create window so this will actually create the window for us and uh, we will now be initializing the win variable by new browser window in that we will be passing the options the width of the window will be 900 height will be 700 apart from that web preferences in that we need to set node integration to true so that we can use the node modules in our application uh, after that guys this completes our create window function so sorry this doesn't complete the function we have just initialized the window but we haven't loaded the index.html file in it so to load this index.html file we will be having the method of load url and in the parentheses we will pass here we will use this method url format and this takes some options here in the curly brackets we will be using path name colon path dot join function so in the parentheses we will be passing dir name directory name comma and this second argument will be the absolute path of your index.html so my path will be this is located in the app folder index.html so i will pass here uh, slash app slash index.html so this is the absolute path of my file that's it sorry 
after this will be comma protocol will be we are loading the file here so the protocol used will be file after file there will be a colon and comma and slashes property will be true because so this to, this is saying that this is loading this after file colon slash slash followed by the directory name that is app comma index.html so indirectly it is saying that by these three properties so just not confuse it so we have successfully loaded index.html into the window now what we want to do we also want to load the dev tools which is there so there is a function open dev tools that's it so this will actually open the dev tools when we launch the window so this completes the function here guys so now i can just call this function whenever the event occurs that is app on when the app is ready i can just call this function of create window that's it so this is all the boilerplate code that is required here so now if i run this application now you will see that a window is generated with this index.html so you can see that dev tools is generated as we launch the window this is because of this call here on the function window dot open dev tools and in the index.html you can see that these this is a styling that we have done here so drag your file here this is a text area and this is a save button so this will not actually work because we have not written any script code so let me just go to the render.js to write some script code first of all we will be importing the ipc renderer ipc renderer so this will be requiring the electron again from electron we are fetching this ipc renderer and after that we will be fetching jquery this dot dollar symbol just signifying that that this is a jquery variable and as i already told you i have already downloaded jquery so now i can just import it by writing this statement so this will import jquery for me and after that i can target the index.html file and make a new variable drag file and use simple vanilla javascript document element by id and pass here the actual id name that i have given to the para paragraph that is drag file so now you can see that in the index.html this is the paragraph that i have given id is equal to drag file so i am just targeting this and storing the reference so after this i will be attaching a event listener add event listener whenever there is this drop this is the event whenever the file is dropped into it i need to execute a function this takes the event object in the parentheses and after that first of all we, we need to prevent the default very behavior by calling this prevent default function and also we need to stop propagation this function also so just write these two function lines code after that we will be uh, getting the files which have which the user has uploaded so for this we are making use of a loop let f of e dot data transfer so this contains this event object contains all the files that is uploaded by the user and we are getting this by e dot data transfer dot files so files is an array so that we are looping through in the array here so in the parentheses in the curly brackets i can just console log the information about it the files you not uploaded you dragged because this is a drag and drop application so we can just print the information f so f is a variable here so after 
this loop here i can just call ipc renderer and i can just send the event to the main process so that the main process can uh, actually uh, open the file in the text area so in the send you can just have a custom name so i am just providing this name here on drag start so you can have any name of your choice this totally depends upon you and in the value i am passing the actual path so i can just access the path of the file by using this f dot path so f is really a object and we are accessing the path by this uh, syntax f dot path so this will actually uh, sends the actual path to the main process so after that after this we can also have drag file we can also attach another event listener this time the name will be drag over when the drag and drop is finished this also we, we can write the code here we can also prevent default here e stop propagation this you have to write this is a start event and this is the over event so for both the events you need to write the event listener and call these methods these are very important so now going back to the main.js just to receive this event that we have sent from the renderer process uh, that is on drag start going back to the main main.js we can just catch this event by using ipc main so let me see we have imported this or not uh, we have not imported this so we need to import this const ipc main so this will require electron dot ipc main that's it so this will be actually be importing the ipc main module and we can just receive events here so whenever we receive on drag start we can just get the event so, so first of all it will get the event and followed by the file path so this is a promise you can see the syntax here this is es2015 syntax uh, arrow function so after that we can just call this function read file read file is a node.js function and in the parentheses i can just uh, just pass the path here file path which is being received by this main process function so after that this is a custom function that we have made sorry this is not a, not a node function so we need to call this function we have called this function now we are defining it read file this is expecting the file path so first thing i will do here is that i will import the file system module so const fs require fs so fs stands for file system so this will be actually be importing the file system for us file system dot there are various methods out there read file we will make use of and we will actually pass the file path and there is a utf8 utf8 is just a syntax format of the document and this also returns the callback whenever it is first of all it, 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 it is error and second will be data so we are interested in the data here so whenever there is successful read of file we need to display the data so if any kind of error is there so we need to print out the error or we can just alert the user by passing an error occurred that's it in reading the file 
and after that we can just concatenate the error that is occurred by using error dot message after that we can write here return so this will not execute any other line of code but if not so it if no error is occurred we can actually send the event here event dot sender dot send we can just send the event to back to render process so the event name you can give any name I am giving file data and I am attaching the data which is which is there in the file so you can see that data this is a variable so I am just uh, sending the data back to the renderer process so that it can display in the text area so now in order to handle this to handle this event that is passed by the main process that is file data we need to cache this event so I can make use of IPC renderer similar process this is file data and there comes the function event dot data this is again arrow function so now I can make use of jQuery target the text area text area element by its id and use a text function and attach the data so now if I run the application npm start now you will see that if I drag drop the file it will be populating the data into the text area so this is the application let me close the developer tools so now if I drag this file toggle developer tools So now you can see that in the console it is saying to me the full path name of the file hello text this is the full path of the file and there is an error also on line 16 in the renderer.js f is not defined so let me check that error here f is not defined So let me just create a new variable and store the path in that. Path is equal to f dot path. That's it. So now I can pass this variable path. So if I close this. npm start so this is the application you can see that so if I so this is empty sorry this is containing this text here so if I drag this so now you can see that it is successfully uh, populating the data that is contained inside the file and it is displaying in the text area now if I save this it will actually not work because we have not written the code for it but in let me just show you the developer tools also so you can see that the files you dragged and it is returning the file object it contains all the information that is name of the file the full path size type all that stuff so so the one last functionality that is remaining that we need to save 
edit the file and after that save save this also so for this one last functionality is remaining so for that we need to be going into the renderer.js and target the button target the button on click so we can attach by using jquery first of all target the button by its id that is btn that is on the event will be click whenever the button is clicked there will be the function that will be executed arrow function and let me uh, declare a new variable text area and fetch the value that is written in in the text area by using the syntax target the first of all the text area by its id and use this val method so this will actually extract the contents or the data that is written in the text area and store this in this variable now i can just pass this data to the main process by using ipc renderer dot send the event name you can give any event name i am giving clicked but button and also i am passing this payload or message that is text area the message that is there in the text area that's it so now in order to handle this event that is click button in the main.js we will again make use of the ipc main here so just right here so this is ipc main on drag start this is there for that so this is there outside so ipc main dot on so the event name here is uh, clicked button so whenever this event take place we need to catch it and there goes this function it will carry the actual event and also the data this is the arrow function so in this arrow function first of all we need to display the dialog so we need to import the dialog dependency so this will be const dialog so this will require electron so this will be in the curly brackets sorry this is there in the curly brackets so now this is you can call any method dialog dot show save dialog so this is the method that we need to target so this will actually save the file after you have made any kind of changes into it so this uh, contains some kind of filters filters you can pass it in the square brackets first filter will be this is there in the curly brackets uh, name will be text so we are just targeting the text files here comma extensions will be txt only but if you want to target more extensions you can obviously be passing more extensions so this is actually there in the square brackets so you can see that that's all extensions will be txt and after this square bracket after this sorry this we will be having the function this will be containing the actual file name file name is actually the file name that user selects in order to save the file you can name any you can give any name 
so that name will be stored inside this variable of file name so now we need to have a if condition if file name is equal to 3 equal to is the condition undefined so this actually means that the user has uh, pressed the cancel button the user has pressed the cancel button so in that scenario we want, don't want to execute any code so we can just write return here but if the user has selected save now we need to write the file so we can just make use of the file system module and call this write file method in that first of all we can pass the file name that the user has provided comma the actual data that is present inside this file comma the callback if the function is successful then it will if no error is there then it it will successfully write the file so that's it guys so all this is all the code that is required to build this application now if i reload the application once again run it npm start now hopefully this application will be running smoothly so now you can see that this is the title this is the interface so now if i drag this file here any file hello.txt so this is the text that is there in the inside this file now let me just change it this is change text now let me save the file you can give any name let's suppose I can also replace the same file so you can see that hello.txt already exists do you want to replace it I will press yes now if I open the same file you will see that the text has changed so this is the application that we have developed a simple application not a very complex one but indeed we have studied a lot in electron how to make user interfaces how to communicate between different processes and hopefully we in the coming tutorials i will be making some more complex applications using electron so thanks for watching this tutorial guys so if you like this video then please please press the like button subscribe the channel and also hit the notification bell icon and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much